I mean, life is more than just a big screen TV, a smartphone, and a 25-foot-long cable, so you don't have to get up off the couch. There's so much more. What the? Talking about manifesting and goals. You know, manifesting gets a bad rap. You know it. Because it's kind of out there. You know, when you're talking with dudes, like with a guy, when I'm talking with my guy friends, and I'm like, hey, you guys manifest lately? Man, they look at me like I was crazy. But if I ask them this question this way, hey, what goals are you guys working on? Boom, conversation starter. So it's the same thing. But manifesting is more, uh, not such a guy thing. Manifesting and goals. Here's the problem. All of us. And as soon as you identify this problem, man, you can really break through. And it's about breaking through. Man, just link in the bio. Get two shirts with the special discount code Chrissy Salem I love you and break through your walls because you like to watch me you like to listen oh you like to watch me move now what if you can put me on <clears throat> I'd always be reminding you to stay on track stay on that dream stay on those goals and you know the sad thing is recent studies I was reading that like 80% of Americans don't know what their dreams are so like if it was just you and I one-on-one -on -one, and I said hey tell me your dreams you wouldn't know what they are. That's crazy. So important point, if you don't know what your dreams are, what your goals are, what you're working towards, man, take a moment, sit down and think about that. Get it like in this inspirational mood, whatever it is that gets you into an inspirational mood. And it doesn't matter how old you are, because at any age, you've got dreams and you've got goals. Oh yeah. So what stops you from manifesting what you want? It's these walls in your head. You know, because all of our lives, somebody says something about us, or we heard something, or it was a review at work, or it was a, something a co-worker said, or a bad relationship, and all these different things, they make us think about us, right? And that we're at fault, and we take the blame, and we, we build up these walls, and, and we never forgive ourselves for whatever mistakes we've made. So, man, you've got all these walls up, so you can't even really see, man, what you can go for. Making sense? You know, if that makes sense, touch your nose. <clears throat> oh, yeah. So you're trapped in your own head. You'll say, well, it's a generational curse, Chrissy. That's because I, that's why I can't lose weight. Yeah, it's a generational curse. I heard that one before. Or something happened to Uncle Sally and, 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 and Aunt Myrna, and now it's happening to me. All these excuses, all these crazy ideas. What if you could be whoever you wanted to be? Who would you be? Just think about you. What if you were the exact opposite? You just got to make a choice. You got to make a decision to do things differently. So what is it you want to manifest? There's three main categories. Three main categories everybody's always going for. Oh yeah, money, you know it. The way you look. And relationships. Bradley says the more hands you shake, the more money you make. Isn't that crazy? So you gotta know, you gotta get out of this little circle that you're in, or maybe your own circle is holding you back. That's the case with a lot of people. That happened to me. Well-meaning circle, well-meaning family. But I'll be damned if they let me wanna go forward. Oh, you don't wanna do that. You're really doing too much of this or too much of that. All these different things. I said, wait a minute, I don't wanna hear that. So you gotta clean house. You might have to clean your circle. You might need better friends. If your friends aren't asking you about your dreams and goals and pushing you, man, you might need some new friends. So then you have to ask yourself, what's real? If you're blinded with all these crazy ideas, you know, I'm too short, I'm too tall, I'm too fat, I'm always broke, my family's always been broken, all these things, well, how can you move forward? How can you manifest the goal that you want? You can't drag the old into the new. It doesn't work that way. Making sense? Touch your nose. Oh, yeah. And talk about soundtracks. You know, the things that you watch and the things you listen to affect your success with your money, with the way you look, and your relationships. Oh, yeah, go to chrissysalem.com. New ebook available called Sabotage Your Soundtrack Words. I'm going to show you how to break through that and really start winning because you got to start winning. I mean, life is more than just a big screen TV, a smartphone, and a 25 foot long cable, so you don't have to get up off the couch. There's so much more. You want more. You want the lifestyle, the experience, the partners. Or maybe you got a partner you don't want. 
there's a partner that's about 50 pounds overweight yelling at you to get off the couch. And you're taking it. You know, they say the average man works in America works 37 and a half hours a week. Who are you going to impress with 37 and a half hours a week? Nobody. No wonder the women say, where have all the good men gone? Well, damn it, they're only working 37 and a half hours. Not much to pick from. Slim pickings. I know, what would Jesse Pump say? Jesse would say, shout out to my sisters. <clears throat> but you know what? You can't shape your reality. Totally doable. You know, for example, uh, weight loss, right? Millions of people have lost weight, kept it off, and look amazing. I didn't always look like this. <clears throat> Diet and training, baby. If I could do it, you could do it. That's what, that's, that's what this is about. Nothing's beyond your reach. Great example. And I bet you know these guys. I bet you know them. Hang in there. Four young men in New York. Man, ages ago, when dinosaurs were still walking the streets, they had a dream, a vision. Now let's fast forward to today. I'm talking about KISS. Everybody knows KISS. Well, these four young men had a goal. They wanted to manifest a different reality. And they did. Oh yeah, shout out to KISS. <clears throat> what a shining example to us. Now, we might not be going for kiss size goals, but you may have a goal to, to make an extra $1,000 a month or to have a better relationship or to look better. You know, to get rid of some of the fluff. Because how many of you are wearing extra black? How much extra black clothing's in your closet because you're hiding? Because it does take 10 pounds off. Good strategy. Not. Now, what about money? If you're one of the people just working those average hours, you're going to have average income, average relationships. You probably look a little average too, but you can't afford a gym membership. See, it's no good. you got to level up, especially if you're a guy nowadays. Man, women are out earning men in most cases. <laughs> what are you going to do about that? Just keep playing a video game? I'm not. you got dreams, you got goals, man. you got to go for them. And if you're a guy, you got to level up. So KISS shape their reality. So if they can, we can. You can fix your money problems. You can fix your weight problems. Oh, Chrissy, but you don't know my... All these excuses, just shut up. I'm not listening. You know, you negotiate with yourself. You negotiate and you lose every time. And you're the same person over and over and over. And you wonder why nothing changes for you. Because you don't change. Crazy, isn't it? Nothing I'm saying is new. Man, it's in the Bible and Proverbs. James Allen is a man thinketh. Man, all to our thought leaders today, Tony Robbins, Evan Carmichael, all these guys, Brad Lee, Grant Cardone, they all say the same thing. What's beyond your reach, man? You gotta go for it, all in or not. You just can't be on the fence. Well, I don't know. I'm sitting around. You sit around making your plans. Wrong. Fate is in your hands, act. So that's how dreams become real. You act. Maybe your dream is to lose 10 pounds. Awesome. Act. Quit planning it and thinking about it. Well, you know, it's Friday. I'm probably going to blow it because the Chinese buffet is Sunday. So I'll start on Monday. Wrong. Start now. You got to give the Chinese buffet the bird. If that's your weak spot. So you got to reach in yourself. I mean, if you don't know what your dreams are, sit down, take a moment, think about it. Your goals, you know, with money, with the way you look. Why not? It's you. Who's more important than you? I'm looking right at you. Latest studies say most Americans don't receive any kind of encouragement during, you know, throughout the work week. Wow. All right. Well, there's nobody behind me waiting to come to you and say, good job, looking good, doing great. But you know what I will? I'm on your side. Because I want to win too. Man, if we can win together, that's awesome. Oh yeah, check out ChrissySalem.com. You know, that's my hub of all my activity. ChrissySalem.com. There's stuff on there I can't do here. And you might want to see it. But yeah, check out my new ebook. It's called how to it's called Words Sabotage Your Soundtrack. Because the stuff you're listening to and the stuff you're watching may not be conducive to your success. You know. I had somebody close to me take me aside and say, Chrissy, 
not everything has to be inspirational that you watch and listen to. I didn't know what to say. Man, if I'm going to invest my time, if you're going to invest your time, you want to be entertained, gotcha, check. But man, be inspired too. I mean, watch a Rocky movie and don't be inspired or a Creed movie. Why wouldn't you want to live life inspired? But you know, most people don't. They're afraid to change. They'd rather give you 50 reasons why they can't. And you know, maybe one of those is bona fide. And not a one reason why they can. You know, the weather, the weather reports on the inside. Oh yeah, sunny California. But you got to choose that. And you know, everyone's in a tough spot. Some of you might be in a really serious tough spot. Real hard to find any sunshine. But man, it's there. I'll be your glimmer of sunshine. It's there. I see it. I am your sunshine. <clears throat> Do you, are you sitting down like in an office chair, you know, and you're at work and nobody's looking? Oh yeah. Shh. <clears throat> Touch your nose. <clears throat> oh yeah. And you're saying, where's Jessie this morning? Well, she got a little mouthy and I don't put up with that. She's at her mother's. She'll be back later this afternoon. We're going to learn our lesson one way or the other. Just too much work to do to be mouthing off. I'm of opinion. And since I'm the leader, we follow the leader. <clears throat> and I want to lead you out of average, because average is no good anymore. Women don't want an average man if you're a dude. And dudes, I think, be happy to get anybody. Wow, they've settled. No ambition. Why so few of you? Man, life's for the taking. You got to get love until you're shaking. You got to be making money. Got to have a cool car. Man, if you're a man in America, there's no excuse for you. It's 2023. There's no excuse. All the information, boom, at your fingertips. Go to YouTube now. Start learning something new. Oh, yeah, people. Chrissy Salem, Metal Mascara Channel. Every night, 7 o'clock, new show. One song. <clears throat> to pick you up. To get your rear end off the couch. To get you dreaming again. To have you motivated to keep pursuing your goals because once we're done and you don't see me and I don't see you the world people places and things are gonna hammer you and it's not that and it's not the kind of hammer you want people places and things are gonna hammer you and your goals and your dreams might take a back seat you might have to set them aside because you're dealing with so many things what if you're a single mom and dealing with kids and then try and work on your dreams and goals I get it I mean, you got to push through it. How do kids do it? They push through it. That applies to all of us. We've all got sticking points, tough spots. Man, I bet you, you know, seven out of ten Americans are, are, are living paycheck to paycheck. Seven out of ten are overweight or obese. And the third group is broke and obese, 70%. That means 70% of you watching got fixable problems. And you've got no excuses. And here it comes. But my Aunt Sally had a thyroid problem and it's a generational curse, Chrissy. I'm not talking about the exception to the rule, the 1%. It's everybody else, the rest of us. <clears throat> oh yeah, people, Chrissy Salem, chilling and vibing and talking about manifesting your goals. Totally doable, but you gotta act. That's the secret, you gotta act. Oh yeah, and don't forget to go to ChrissySalem.com, check out my new ebook. T public link in the bio. Special two shirts, man, with a discount code. Chrissy Salem, I love you. And connect with me, man. DM me. You want to talk more? You want to get to know each other? You need a hand with something. You need an encouraging word. Well, don't be shy. DM me. I know it looks like I bite, but I really don't. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I love you, and I'll see you again.